I'm trying to figure out what scrap metal is right now. I don't know if it's um, the world's ultimate guilty pleasure wedding band or if it's uh, an ultra super group. The resurgence of rock and roll has brought together some of the biggest hit makers from the 80s and 90s in a newly formed celebrity rock group called Scrap Metal. I can't live without your love and affection. Scrap Metal is a collection of lead singers, mostly from the 80s, all guys who have had monster pop hits, not just in the rock world, but in the pop world. The real world actually has heard the song. Collectively, the members of Scrap Metal have sold over 50 million records worldwide. Scrap Metal was created by Gunnar Nelson, who with twin brother Matthew was half of the hit 90s group Nelson, and Mark Slaughter of 80s rock group Slaughter. Gunnar and I had talked about doing some things as, as far as musically, and we did a couple acoustic things, and we had some really, really good uh, results out of them. I guess we, we figured that we had so much fun we were playing together and put a set together that was nothing but hits. The audience is freaking out. Everybody said, you know, you guys should do this. And Scrap Metal was born. What makes scrap metal so unique? We don't take ourselves seriously at all. If you'd like to make your hair full of body, full of life, use Aquanet. We do. But we take our music seriously. Scrap metal is the heavy metal rat pack. A confederacy of multi-platinum artists from the 80s arena rock generation who took over MTV and held the airwaves hostage for a decade. Scrap metal's only similarity to other supergroups is that it is a collection of superstar icons. But that's where any similarities end. Scrap Metal features all lead singers and frontmen who were the voices and faces of rock and roll in America for the good time rock generation. Like Kelly Keggy from Night Ranger, who rounds out Scrap Metal's core group. And Eric Martin of Mr. Big, who brings his powerhouse pipes to the group. Kelly is one of those rare guys who is a lead singer who is also a drummer, you know, in the spirit of Phil Collins and Don Henley. Having those different um, elements of, you know, um, Gunner, um, Eric, you know, they both sing great, and Mark Slaughter can, can just take up, you know, all that room up on the high. Whoa, there's, there's a blend in here that we can't get with our respective bands. Your brother, your lover, and your... We've got Eric Martin from Mr. Big. I'm a huge fan, by the way. Uh, personally, he's got the best voice out of any of us. With our bands that we have, uh, there's no baggage. Everybody has experience. Everybody has a good voice. Uh, they, they still look good, you know, and, for, you know, Nelson's been around for 150 years, and they still look good. Scrap metal shows feature an element of surprise with special guest performances. What I like about the whole scrap metal philosophy, even my rotating in and out, depending on what I'm doing, is you really never know who's going to show up. Party! We're all about music. Party! We're about the fun. We're about getting people to have a good time, to forget their problems, to, to unleash a party that's wilder and crazier than they've ever seen. That untamed side of it uh, and roasting each other and having fun. You still look 10 years old, dude. What the hell's going on? <laughs> that's that's the dynamics we like because it's not taking yourself serious but still playing the hits. There are no side men. From the drummer to the bassist, you'll recognize every star and voice on stage as the champions of their own individual supergroups back in the day. If you're talking about scrap metal, you're looking at a bunch of guys who at the very least are bringing in four songs each that have all been in the top five of the only chart that matters, which is the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. You got a bunch of good guys who really honestly are getting back to what it all was about in the first place, which is the music. It's kind of keeping that rock and roll dream alive uh, for the people to come to see the show, because you know they still got their, you know, black rock and roll t-shirts in the closet, Ooh, hanging up. Thank you, everybody.